Hello again. Uh, first of all, sorry for not uh, uploading any video in such a long time. Uh, with this video, I, I would like to, to explain how to upload uh, either your alta, sorry, your high res files or your proxy files into an FTP. In this case, I'm going to use the, the cloud services by, by Sony, the CI. You will see that I have created a profile in my camera for that. And uh, I am recording this with an F, uh, sorry, an X70, which is the camera you are looking from in, in this case. I'm going to use for the demo uh, my beloved uh, FS5. I'm going to, to record the, uh, the camera menu into an Atomos device. And I'm going to also record or, or capture the, my screen in order to show you what is going on in my, in my FTP through cloud media services. So now for the FTP upload, basically what we need to do is firstly to connect our camera to a Wi-Fi network. If we want to use the Wi-Fi connection, yeah, otherwise we, we can use a cable, a, an Ethernet cable connected to our switch or our router. Uh, that is available in the camera in the camera body in case of uh, FS5. If you are using an X70, you will need to convert from micro USB to a full size USB and then from USB to RJ45. It's quite useful to use a, a wired uh, connection in case you are in a, in a very radio frequency uh, incapable uh, environment, let's say, uh, such as a concert or, or in a stadium in which uh, everybody or, or most of the people may be uh, with the Wi-Fi and or um, 4G or 3G connection uh, switched on. In that case, or for instance, if there is any any relevant uh, VIP person coming to the to the event and there is some uh, RF inhibitor uh, switched on, so in that case, it's obviously much better to use a wired connection if possible. So now jumping into the, the how to upload those those files. Firstly, what we are going what we are going to do is to connect our camera to a Wi-Fi network because in this case I'm going to use the Wi-Fi connection. We will jump into the Wi-Fi set menu, access point set, and obviously I'm not going to connect right now because I have done it before because uh, inputting the the very long, typically long uh, uh, address, uh, sorry. Um, password from the network is just to be very annoying but you will see that I am connected to this network yeah, this I, I want to connect to this network in fact I have done it before as I was saying and it is my priority network that is why you can see a little crown over there so I won't change anything but uh, if, we, if I was going to connect for the first time to the network the next screen would be uh, uh, inputting the, the password for such network so now uh, I have my camera connected to that network uh, and uh, I can configure the FTP transfer either in this menu or from the thumbnail uh, menu. I will do it right now. You can see that I have three profiles. Uh, inside each profile I can generate different um, folders in which I can upload the, the proxies or the high-res files. In this case it has the nickname CI which stands for the cloud services from Sony. Destination set is, is basically the IP uh, address or the HT, HTTP, maybe, well, the address of my uh, server. Secure protocol, protocol uh, I will set it uh, to on because I want the, the communication to be um, uh, secured or encrypted. I will use, as in most of the cases with the FTP, uh, port number 21 and in this case I'm not going to create any directory in my cloud um, uh, account uh, by Sony but I could generate uh, a, a different folder for each event let's say for instance I don't know if I'm shooting the documentary nature documentaries uh, birds lizards whatever animal I want to, to shoot so as said uh, I won't change anything but now I have my destination set uh, set on the camera and now the user info set basically is in this case my uh, my mail address and my password obviously if you have different cameras uh, for uh, 
uploading files to the same server, this would be a, a way to, uh, to have different users uh, against the same, the same server. So now it's configured, OK. Now I will configure my signal. In this case, you can see that it is under XABC with uh, in 4K configuration, but let me show you how to uh, configure not only the uh, main codec, but also the proxy. Main codec can be, in this case, these different uh, options. I will leave it in, in 4K and with a bitrate of uh, 100 megabit per second. And now in this uh, submenu, you can set if you want to, to record also a proxy, which from my point of view is, is quite recommendable in order to have a better and faster um, workflow. So I will set it to on and the size of the of such thumbnail is going to be what we what we called in the past a uh, HD ready. So 720, which in some cases may be enough for uh, airing the, the signal. It depends on the transmission you, you will finally have. So it's basically done. I will uh, shoot a very short clip, which is this one, totally out of focus. OK, done. Now I have a clip in uh, recorded in my card. It's, uh, it uh, actually is uh, it's a double clip, one with a high res file, 4K, and one with the proxy. Let's see it. I press the thumbnail uh, button and you will see I have a clip here. I will select menu for using the FTP transfer tool that I have here. Then I can select one of my three preset profiles. I will select server one and then I press execute. As Since I have uh, connected the camera via Wi-Fi, I can use the Wi-Fi connection with wireland Obviously, it's going to be much more secure and much uh, much faster, but I will use the Wi-Fi connection. You can see that the only cable I have from my camera is this one, which is a BNC cable for the Atomos device. So I'm going to connect via Wi-Fi and now I will select which files um, uh, I will upload, either, either the high res or the proxy. OK, continue connection and then you can see in the next screen, next screen that uh, firstly I will select proxy, okay? But here is where I can select the uh, high res, in this case 4K proxy, and then I can select which files to upload. In this case, I have only one, so there is just one that you can see that the moment I, I select this one with the little tick on the corner, I can see the OK button down there. In this case, I'm, I'm just selecting one, but I can select as many as I want and they will be uh, uploaded in the, in the same bunch, let's say. I don't want to switch off the camera after transferring and you can see right now before it is uploaded that I have nothing in my workspace. Okay, it's, uh, since it is still not uploaded, you can see that it is empty so far, but the moment the transmission is ended, you will see it, it took about 20, 20 seconds, maybe 20, 21. OK, now it's transferred. OK, and you can see that if I refresh my uh, workspace, there is one folder. And if I jump into it, you will see I have basically two files. Those files uh, are the MP4. You can see that the resolution is 720 pixels. And this one is the metadata. Now I'm going to do the same with the 4K resolution file. So since I have the uh, transfer file option to, to continue on my camera, I will select yes. And now I will select my uh, main. This one is the file I want to upload and I don't want to switch off the camera after, after transferring. I'm going to jump, to jump up in my, in my cloud um, account in CI and now it, it should start transferring the, the file as I was saying to you it's, uh, it's the 4K quad full HD in this case 100 megabit per second and 25p um, frame rate it obviously it takes longer than the, than the other one than the, um, the proxy file so now the, the little advice that I was uh, talking to you before is 
if possible, it, it could make sense to uh, edit in proxy and render or conform the signal by relinking to the to the high res files. This is one way to work, for instance, if you are shooting for for news, instead of rendering sorry, ingesting the high res files, rendering with the high res files and then um, distributing the, the signal, what you can do is to acquire or, or ingest just, just the proxy, edit with the proxy, but then relink to the high res files and then conform or, or provide the high res um, the high res version. It has ended the transmission and you can see that now I will go to the top of my workspace. There is a still one folder with today's date coming from FS5 with that serial number and now this is the new folder that was created when uploading the 4K files. You can see now that I have the 4K resolution here and this again is the is the metadata for for that for that file. So this is my my little explanation about how to work with uh, FTP uh, upload from FS5, from X70 and with the rest of the models uh, it's uh, quite similar, they, there might be some slight differences but uh, now you can you, you know what you can do directly from the camera head you don't need to uh, ingest if, um, if you put your attention I, at any, I didn't took off the, the, the card to ingest so it's quite easy and quite uh, agile in order to, to edit and to, to improve my, my workflow. So, also related with the, with the FS5 and the X70, I have another video in my channel talking about how, the, how to configure the, uh, a streaming from the camera. So, you can take a look on, the, on, on my channel. Uh, obviously, the first step or my recommended step about how to configure things on your camera uh, uses to be the, 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 the dealer. But if you have if you have any doubt or any detailed doubt, uh, please drop me some line here in in my in my own channel or in below this video, and I will try to help as as soon as possible. But that soon is quite relative due to the quantity of events, travels, and things we 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 are doing in in Sony Europe. So thank you very much uh, indeed for taking a look on this video, and hope it was I really hope it was useful for you. And. See you out there in any event or through this channel. Thank you very much.